Hey, hi guys. To me curious, I'm out in my garage, my junky, trashed out garage that I'm not going to show you. And, you know, I, I ran into someone online today. Well, I was sub to this one guy. I forgot his name. I want to say the Magic Puka, but it's like, it's not it. Um, but he did this video about Variablast, and the, I forgot what this guy's video was about, but he talked about Variablast, and I went to that video, and Variablast is sitting there with this young, maybe, I don't know if she was really African American, or, or African or if she was some kind of Fiji, whatever it was, she was dark, very dark complected. Black, basically, you know, or at least in that color range and facial features. And she was kind of young, you know, and he's talking about, oh, you know, I'm going to break her heart and, and yeah, you know, we fight and stuff and, you know, and we don't talk much about me saying, you know, nigger rights or however he said it, you know, and, you know, and, but I am a proud nigger and it's good to be racist. And I'm like, you know, usually I argue against the nanny state, although I'm an atheist and environmental, so I, I support some regulation of government and society, you know. But when it comes to social laws, generally, I find them intrusive, you know. But I, w I was wondering if this is how I look to other people. You know what I mean? Because this just came straight off as some bigoted white shit I ever seen in my fucking life. And I'm like, well, you know, uh, you know, I, I felt like he was just exploiting her. You know, and she didn't have the sense or didn't, was a concern because she was younger to care about it. You know, and yes, you know, I'm making all these suppositions and judgments and everything and it might not be even be true, you know, this whole movement has been, let's take it back, you know, let's take it back, you know. And I could be exposing a lot of my own prejudices and stuff, you know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, you know, it's the first time I ever really felt like, and I mean really the first time ever, I really felt like I was freaking uh, embarrassed about white privilege. You know what I mean? And, and white privilege of what? I don't know. You know what I mean? Because I'm all about economic uh, egalitarianism. I, I, I believe in a multicultural way of people having a dynamic economy so people can work their way up out of poverty. That's my big thing. You know, and I guess that reflects a lot of my personal history. So when this man is calling himself a nigger, you know, and I see issues like race get involved in what's really social classification or cultural classification by, by economics, you know, it, it's like, you know, it pees me off, you know. Until this time, I really never really felt like that. So, I don't know. But this guy, you know, I will never call myself a nigger. And I will never be comfortable with freaking, you know, uh, well, I, I'm not going to make suppositions for black people. If they want to call themselves niggers, that's fine. You know? And, but I consider it 
a derogatory term. You know? So, you know, I don't know, but, uh, I don't even know why I made this video. Except to say that for once, the only person to ever give me white guilt, ever, was very a blast. You know? That's just too much. You know, I, I'm for freaking economic egalitarianism, but he is a fucking nigger. He plays the freaking race card, flip flopped. And you know, I don't want to start a big old fight with this man or or insult him or anything. It's just our policy. Uh, I find it defensive. And maybe it's just offensive because I've been around so many people of various colors that do find it offensive. And I'm not talking about high uppity up up people either. I'm talking about normal freaking down in the freaking neighborhood people, you know? And it's like, uh, I just don't buy it. That's all I can say about it. It's, you know, I'm a citizen. That's what I am. And not no damn international citizen. I'm a Euro-American patriot. And that's what I am. And if I ever felt anything from that, it's that, man, I, I better clean up my own house, you know, and my own life. Because... I just didn't like what I saw. Or what I thought I saw. You know? So, that's it. That was just too fracking much. And the guy's got a girlfriend and a nice house. Huh. I don't know.